And this has uncovered the fact that evolutionarily we as humans are not built for living longer. Our brains become increasingly subject to diseases that limit what our brains can do. And so our body may live longer but not our brain and as a result the increased lifespan that we have is of no use because what is the use of living longer when you no longer have a brain? Can we actually do something about it? I think that current neuroscience, modern neuroscience, has provided already enormous advances in the last decades in understanding dementia. These advances consist of an incredible discovery regarding the genetics. We now understand the genetics of dementia, which basically tells us which people are more prone to get dementia and which people are not. The most important goal for the scientific community, including clinical research, has to be an understanding of why people with certain with certain genetic uh, features, put it this way, have a high chance of developing dementia. Let's take Alzheimer's disease. In Alzheimer's disease, there are two major types of genetic changes. There's on the one hand the familial Alzheimer's disease, mutations in APO, in APP and presenilins that make people sick 100% of the time. On the other hand, there's APOE4. APOE4, very abundant, very prevalent in Asian populations, by the way. If you are above 90, your chances with APOE4 to have Alzheimer's disease approaches 100%. Okay? This is not a small effect. We need to understand why this happens. Why is this particular genetic form linked to increased incidence or even certainty of disease provided you reach a certain age? And in order to understand the diseases such as Alzheimer's disease or Parkinson's disease, what we need is not clinical research. What we need is basic science that tells us what actually happens in the disease. Why is that? until we understand what APOE4 actually does in the brain, which at this point we don't at all, we won't be able to treat people. So I think, yes, we are going to be able to tackle this. We are going to be able to develop drugs, but only if we devote enough resources towards an understanding of the biology, of the underlying process at the most fundamental level. We really need to understand what these genes do, how they work, and that requires fundamentally approaching a biological question without wanting immediately to develop a drug, hoping that you're going to discover something that then later on enables you to develop a drug.